it's Shaw from Scrap Secrets and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part of a YouTube hop from the Facebook group Craft Collabs and we are being sponsored by Scrap Perfect. So Amy from Scrap Perfect sent us some products to test out and use and I'm going to be spotlighting her best glue ever. I'm going to be doing something that maybe you guys haven't ever thought about using your glue for, so hopefully this will be a new technique for you. And also make sure you stay tuned to the very end because I have a, another way to use this glue, which is amazing. Uh, I will have all of the information in the description box below, including the hop participants, the next person on the hop, as well as the link to Amy Shop, so you can check out all of the stuff that she has. So let's get started making the card. We are actually going to be making a Christmas card and I know, yes, it is July, but we are going to be making a Christmas card because Christmas seems to always sneak up on me and I never have enough cards ready. Oh, well, this is just a piece of 65 pound white recollections cardstock cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am using Distress Oxide in Dusty Concord, Blueprint Sketch, Chip Sapphire, and then black soot. We're actually gonna go back in with a little bit of seedless preserves because I don't really love the way that that purple is blending with that blueprint sketch. I just don't think that the two of them blended nicely together. So here you go, I'm coming in with some seedless preserves and I'm gonna go back over and I think it blends a little bit better. So once this panel is all done, I actually took my heat gun and heat set it because Distress Oxide stays wet for a long time. And the technique that we're going to do, I needed it to be dry so that the glitter does not stick to the background. Yes, we are using glitter in this. And the amazing thing with this is because we're using the best glue ever, the glitter does not chip off. So I was so absolutely amazed at that. I'm just getting these colors to blend together. Then we're gonna go back in with the black soot and put that at the very, very top. I love using these colors for the night sky and that's what we're going to create. We're creating a night scene with some adorable lawn fawn characters. So again, once this was all done, I took it with my heat gun and hit it a couple of times for a couple of minutes just to make sure that it was dry. What you can do is Kind of take your glitter just take a little bit of it and sprinkle it on there and if it any of it sticks it means that it's not dry so now i'm using a microfiber cloth to just wipe off the panel just to make sure that there's no residue so i am taking a honeybee stencil and i am putting it on a palette knife putting the best glue ever on a palette knife and using that almost like an embossing paste. So this will put these little stars on the background. So once you peel it off, you have all of these backgrounds. So now you could leave it like that. But the thing with this glue is it stays sticky even when it's dry. So that'll give you a hint onto what we're doing at the very end. I took the Prisma glitter and just dumped it all over the back for the background. Now, I didn't do a great job of getting all the static off of there, so you can see there's a lot of excess on there. I believe it was still a little bit wet. So I'm going to take a paintbrush and just wipe the rest of it off. It actually came off pretty easily. And the amazing part about this glue is that that glitter did not come off of any of the areas where the glue was. So it was really, really amazing. So if you're worried about glitter coming off, it really did not. The next thing we're going to do is create that snowbank for the bottom for the characters to sit on. So I cut that out and now we're going to stamp the bears as well as the Santa and reindeer onto a piece of scrap white paper to the top of the paper that I cut out the snowbank from. And we're going to ink it up with VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And the tool that I'm using right there is honestly a under $2 dry erase, dry, dry erase board eraser. So super inexpensive from Target and works really, really well. It helps with your wrists. The next thing that I did was work on the snow bank. So I took out my snow writer and the palette knife that I used earlier for the glue with the stencil. And I'm just applying it to the top of the snow bank. I originally thought that I was going to heat set this and I 
Then I decided, let me put a little bit of glitter on it. And then I dumped way too much glitter out and I didn't know how it was going to react with glitter on top of it. Didn't know if it was gonna create that 3D snow and I didn't wanna mess up the snow bank, but I'm definitely going to have to experiment with that and I'll let you know how that comes out. Oh, I decided to just finish this bank off, uh, wipe the palette knife off, and then we are going to get to the glitter part. And this is where you'll see that I poured out way too much of this glitter. And I should have just dumped a little bit out and then um, kind of just put the paper on top of it. And you can see here, I put way, way too much glitter on there. This definitely does not hold the glitter as well as the best glue ever did though. I do have to say that. So now I am coloring in the images. I thought that I cut them out first with my brother's scan and cut, but I didn't. I colored the images first and then I cut them out. That's normally what I do. So I don't know why I thought I cut them out before this. So I'm just taking a couple shades of red, a couple shades of green, and then some browns to color in these bears. These are very simple colorings. Uh, I did leave it in just so that you guys can see what I did or kind of see what I did um, because I thought they came out super, super cute. I think these bears are so adorable. I love lawn fawn stamps and just so, so cute. So I picked out reds and greens, even though there's no traditional Christmas colors in the background, I thought that I would incorporate those with the scarves. So coloring in one red and one green, and then I'm going to get ready to color in the bears. So I picked a couple different colors of brown of the Ohuhu markers that I have. I bought these for the girls and I actually am loving them. I think sometimes I reach for these more than I do my Copic markers. I don't think there's as much of a selection in the set that I have, but I don't know why. I just tend to reach for these a little bit more. So if you guys are looking for good markers for younger kids who are just starting out with alcohol markers, my nieces are six and I let them use these very freely because they do a great job with markers and really want to know how to blend. I know this video is, in about, is not about a hoo hoo markers, but if anybody's looking for a recommendation, I think that they are actually fantastic and definitely worth the uh, price. It's definitely, they're definitely cheaper than Copic markers. So, okay, so now I'm coloring in the larger bear and then I will put them through my scan and cut and cut out. I actually was torn between putting a border around them or just cutting them out regularly. And I did just cut them out regularly um, because Santa and the reindeer have such a very thin line for the, the reins between them. I wasn't sure if that was even gonna cut out, but the scan and cut did an amazing job on this. So it's all colored in. Um, we are actually going to use a wink, cut it out, then use a wink of Stella on the scarves. So do the red one and then do the green one. And then we are going to move on to the Santa and the reindeer. Because the background is not white, I actually took some, at first I took some blueprint sketch and I didn't love the way that was looking. So then I went back in with some chipped sapphire. So I kind of mixed the two of those together and took a lot of that white out of the background um, in between the pieces that the scan and cut actually cut out, which I thought that did an amazing job. And now we're going to assemble them. So again, I'm using the best school ever. Be very careful with this. You have to use this very sparingly. Um, like I said, the glue stays tacky even when it's dry, so you don't want it in places where you, um, you know, where you're going to have the card exposed because things will stick to it. So just be very careful and very sparing. Use it very sparingly. It does come out a little bit thick, so it does take a few times to get to used to how much, how hard you have to squeeze. You don't have to squeeze very hard at all to get the glue out. So now that I have the snow bank glued on there, I am going to use pop dots for the top of the bears because of the dimension on that snow bank. I wanted to give the heads of the bears a little bit of dimension and make them almost look like they were 3D and looking up at Santa and the reindeer. I was going to do a moon, but I couldn't find my circle punches and I just didn't feel like dragging out the cuddle bug. So 
I decided against it, but I think it still looks cute without it. So I placed that on the top. And then I'm going to use the best glue ever to glue it to the card base. Now, I don't have a picture of the card, but I will have it up on my blog. So that link will be listed below in the more information section. So be sure to go over and check it out. And then I am going to show you a bonus way to use this best glue ever. I've been using mini glue dots for a lot of the Lawn Fawn interactive dies, and you can actually make your own with the best glue ever. So I'm showing you, here's the mini glue dots. And I took some of the release paper, I'm going to use the property of the best glue ever that it remains tacky even when it's dry. And we are going to put out some dots. Now it did take me a couple of dots to kind of get the pressure right to get the right size of the dots. But I put out some glue dots, put them to the side, let them dry, and then compared them to my mini glue dots and they are so perfect. So I'm gonna show you them here. Here are the mini glue dots that I created and here are the ones that are from the glue company. So there you go, another way to use your products. So hope you guys enjoyed this hop. Please make sure you check out the more information section below and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.